Hi, Hiya Crafters, Amy here with Amy's Wares, and today I'm going to swatch my new Altenew acrylic markers. Now these are water-based, medium tip, it's a set of 24. They're acrylic markers in gorgeous Altenew colors. They have this awesome container, and I'm going to swatch them on both black cardstock and white cardstock. Now that black cardstock is actually Lawn Fawn brand, and the white cardstock is 120 pound accent opaque. I just have two little panels of US A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. And in this vid, I'm simply going to swatch all 24 colors. I want to see how these react on both black cardstock and white cardstock. So I'm gonna move kind of slow in the beginning and then as to not take all day, <laughs> I'm going to speed it up in a little bit. But right off the bat, I am so enamored and surprised by these acrylic pens, or acrylic markers rather. You can see it's kind of a wide nub. Now the first thing that's different from other acrylic markers that I've used is that you don't need to prime it. So you may have had other acrylic markers in the past where you have to just kind of push and push and push and you kind of um, shove the tip into the barrel multiple times to kind of activate it and get the, the marker ink flowing. You don't have to do that with these. They work right out of the container, which is awesome. Um, it was even when it went down. It was opaque, beautiful coverage on both the black and the white. I was kind of shocked at how beautifully it looked um, on both options. So I'm so excited to use these for my card making. Um, I'm really stoked to use them with stencils because you guys know I use those a lot. Um, so watch for future videos where I do that and other fun ways to use these markers. Um, but basically I'm just going to go through all 24 colors and then I'm going to um, write the names on all of them off screen to show, you know, the the color names. But these are gorgeous all to new colors, which is another thing I love about this set, is that they're not just bright primary colors and things like that. Now that container, I don't know if you can see that, you actually pop the little um, shelf down that holds them in place so the markers don't go flying everywhere. That's just another cool design feature of this little cute carrying container. So you can absolutely take them out if you have other storage uh, methods, but I'm definitely going to leave mine right in the box because I really like this design. I like that it holds them in place. It's got the name of the marker clearly displayed on the barrel. Um, the caps come off easily. You don't have to struggle with them or anything like that. Uh, the ink flows beautifully out. Um, I keep saying ink, but I guess it's probably technically a paint if they're calling it acrylic. Um, there's also a white and black, which obviously those aren't going to show up on the respective cardstock. But guys, I'm in love. <laughs> These are amazing. You can see how rich... Um, and saturated and pigmented the color is. I'm so stoked to play with these. So here you can see I have them written in. I'm trying to show you the type of pen that this is, but you know, my camera's taking eight years to focus. So nice and awkward. Sorry about this. Anyway, it's a Signo Uniball pen. Um, it's gold. Here we go. Sort of in focus. <laughs> Anyway, we got there, but I wrote that on both the white and the black, and I just kind of stuck those together, so I have it for a quick reference to use these in the future. So I will link everything below. Super stoked to play with these. Um, if you follow my links, it really does help me out. I appreciate it, and thanks so much for spending time with me today. I'll catch you next time. Bye.